Welcome back in, folks. I'm here joined by Larry Mahoney, longtime writer for the Bangor Daily News, who just got inducted into the Maine Press Association Hall of Fame. Larry, what was your initial reaction to learning you're going to become a Hall of Famer? I, I was floored. I mean, I, I never expected anything like that. I mean, I just, uh, you know, I, I, when they told me, I, I, was, I was puzzled. I said, don't you have to accomplish something to get into one of these things? Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, I guess... If you do the same job for 52 years, you know, I think they feel sorry for you and dream up an award, you know, before they, before you're sitting out on the uh, patio on a rocking chair, eating, <laughs> eating porridge, staring at trains go by. So, uh, no, I was just, it's, 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 it was very humbling. I mean, I, you know, like I said, I, um, I, I didn't anticipate, I didn't expect it at all. And it was, uh, and the whole ceremony was wonderful, uh, wonderfully done. Uh, uh, Faith Dan boys and the crew down there did a wonderful job and, my two sons, one in Boston, one in, in New York, came up. My five brothers and sisters all came up from Harpswell. And uh, my wife, of course, and uh, my son's fiance. It was, it was just a wonderful day in Bar Harbor. And then hustle back to catch the tail end of the Black Bears. Uh, well, upset win over Villanova. And then the hockey team coming back with a dramatic overtime win over Quinnipiac. Working away on Not your a bad day. day. Pretty, not, pretty, pretty, good, pretty good day. Not a bad day. Don't sell yourself short there. But I just want to know, like you said, been around for 52 years mm -hmm. at the Bangor Daily News. Mm -hmm. What about this community has made you stick around? Just the people, Jack. I mean, I'm not a Mainer. I'm, I'm, an, I'm an Air Force brat. I mean, I grew up in Massachusetts and England. Um, and we moved here when I was 15, just before I turned 15, because uh, my father was sent to Vietnam. And uh, I just like to, I, I love the people. And, and of course, you're from Saco, you're from, I just, they're honest, they're hardworking. And what people don't realize is Mainers have, have a great sense of humor. I mean, it, it, you know, they're, they're introverts for the most part, but once they get to know you they'll, they'll, and trust you, they'll do anything for you. And it's just, it's just a very comfortable. And, uh, um, you know, you can go out and, and, uh, and just uh, relax and, and, and joke with people. And you know, like I said, it's, um, uh, there's not a lot of, uh, there's a lot of transparency. You know, there's just not uh, hidden agendas. And I just... I just love the main people. I, I would never consider moving anywhere else. I mean, people uh, people say, "Geez, why don't you uh, why don't you retire? Why don't you go to Florida and retire in Florida?" And you know, what I tell them, Jack. I say, "You know what? I've never once in Maine re reached my arm into a snowbank and been bitten by a snake." It's fair enough. Yeah. No, I don't. Uh, no, I just don't. Uh, I just I, I really enjoy. I, hey, we have our winters, but it is what it is. Uh, you know, it's. Uh, you just learn to cope. You find a, a, what I tell people moving here from away is uh, find a winter activity, whether you go to, go to the gym or go to the pool or snowshoe, cross-country ski, downhill ski. Just find an activity. The winters aren't that severe, but they're long. So you just, yeah, no, no, I, I really, really enjoy the main people. My son's got a great education in the Bangor school system. My, my wife's from Bangor and just, uh, I'm, as we would say in Maine, I'm happy as a clam buddy. Yeah. Hey, yeah. absolutely. Help me as a clam, uh, buddy. I'm right there with you now. Not only have you covered so many amazing people, athletes, mm -hmm. you've just covered some great events over the years, whether it be oh, high school state championships, high school basketball tournaments, a couple main hockey national titles, a yep. couple main women's basketball crazy seasons, some success in main football, pretty much everything you could ever imagine up here. What sticks out to you? Do you kind of have a favorite? Are the championships, uh, the, the two national championships, just because of what it meant to, to the state of Maine. And to see a, a sign as you, you were just a young, oh no, you weren't even born. But they, had, they, they put a sign on the interstate, a home of the national champion, Maine Black Bears. I mean, the pride this state took, this little state that gets overlooked all the time. And, and to see that what those two hockey teams did for, um, for the state of Maine and the people and, and the pride, uh, it was special. It was special. The, the other, I think the other thing, and I don't mean to name drop, but I actually interviewed... Uh, a, a player I idolized, Bobby Orr, former uh, Boston Bruin great and Hall of Famer, um, who revolutionized, revolutionized the game of hockey. Absolutely. Um, he was a defenseman who had a fifth gear that nobody had, and uh, he would take the puck end to end. And I interviewed him at a bar in Waterville. He was uh, working for a, I don't know if it was a, a distillery company or what, and he, you would not know he was Bobby Orr. I mean, he was as down to earth kind, um, just, uh, it was, you know, just a terrific interview. I just thoroughly enjoyed interviewing Bobby Orr. Um, and, uh, you know, it was just, um, 
and, and you know, having grown up watching him and watching him score that game-winning goal in the Stanley Cup final, uh, you know, it was just. Uh, but, but everybody. I mean, I, I, I've met so many interesting people and, uh, uh, you know, been able to develop relationships and, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, I'm getting paid for going to games. You know, not a bad gig, Jack. Not, not a bad, bad gig, gig at, all. at all. Not sure it no. gets better than that. Well, Larry, oh, no, not bad. we thank you for coming in today. We thank you for all, all the attention and, and coverage you've brought to this community over the years. And uh, he's still going to this day, folks. Like he said, after he gets inducted to the Hall of Fame, he's over to Orono campus covering football, covering hockey. So check him out at Bangor Daily News. Unfortunately, it's all the time we have for sports today. We'll be right back after the break.